Hi everybody. I'm just here to expose the Ontario College of Physicians and Surgeons as for what they really are. This is their website. You can look them up. And um, this is from an article in our local northern newspaper. For now, I'm just going to keep my name to myself. This will become a sequel. And this is how it reads from approximately Jan um, Febu December 28th of 2012. Ontario Doctor Regulator's Secret of Lawyer Charges London, Ontario A doctor who faces an avalanche of lawsuits was shielded from the public scrutiny by regulators after being accused of fracturing a baby's skull with forceps, a local lawyer says. Joni Dobson's client accused Dr. Kathy Frank of trying in 2006 to deliver her baby repeatedly with forceps forceps before performing a C-section. The baby has grown up with deve developmental disabilities. In 2008, that case was among 31 involving Frank that the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario reviewed. The college did not refer any of those cases to a public disciplinary hearing as Frank agreed to have her practice monitored by another doctor whose identity the college refuses to reveal, an arrangement Dobson says kept other patients in the dark. In 2009 and 10, the mother of the injured baby and three other women filed formal complaints in January. The college said the matters had already been considered. It was only after Dobson appealed the cases to the Health Professionals Appeal and Review Board that the troubling allegations was heard this week in a public forum. Why does it take 30 cases and appeal before you can get an obstetrician slash gynecologist to the disciplinary committee, Dobson said. College spokesperson Jill Hefley didn't respond to an email sent by QMI agency asking, who does the college sometimes allow or does the college sometimes allow a doctor to agree to a practice restriction in return for not sending a complaint against that doctor to the disciplinary committee? A quid pro quo that has the result of keeping secret serious allegations of professional misconduct? Dobson isn't alone in calling for the college to be more accountable. So is a couple who have filed a complaint with the college over the conduct of Frank's husband, Dr. James Martin, who runs Southern Ontario Fertility Technologies. Colleen Aitken claims Martin bun bungled her case by overusing a specific fertility treatment that later forced her to have her ovaries removed. Her claim that Martin disputes is one of 30. The college this week referred to the disciplinary committee. Aitken, a public health nurse, and her husband, Roland Gennard, were stunned to learn they'd been so many women who complained about the care provided by Martin and concerned that the college wasn't doing more to make sure other patients knew of the allegations. Hundreds of people go through the clinic doors. They're walking in unaware, Gennard said. Neither Frank nor Martin responded to a message left on in the, at the clinic. Messages were also left with the lawyers that represent them in civil lawsuits. The, the review board, three personal panel, hasn't made a decision yet on the Frank complaints, an official there said. This is from uh, Jonathan Scher at sunmedia.ca, and there's a Twitter account and other resources that you can also um, get more information on that. I thought I mentioned something because these people are corrupt and there's much mistruths in everything they say. Right now, as we speak, I have a case open and under investigation with a local doctor. Um, by Friday, uh, the college has been refusing to answer my phone calls. As I'm about to phone them right now to, to prove the fact that they will not answer, and the assistant also will not answer, um, proving that they're trying to say that they didn't get my first class mail, and if it isn't in by Friday, they gave me little notice, and I had to pay for my own stamp, which uh, I'll show you this. We can see that I paid for my first class um, stamp, and 
and on the return there's nothing. And um, that's just the truth of the matter. So they, they have, uh, if you look into their website and you go into their college here, and, um, you, can, you can find where the, the ones that were punished under disciplinary committee or you go about us and then you go and check the ones who were disciplined, they say they, they're trying to uh, tell us that, that the doctor will be accountable for up to $35,000. But in, rarely have I ever seen anything even over five grand. I mean, um, in, 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 their, um, in their little statement to me, as a matter of fact, in their pages, which is uh, a, a complaints process, uh, complaints form, dated, um, uh, may, may I point out, June 2009, they, they say right in here that, um, that how long will the decision take? Um, the investigator will try to have the committee consider your complaint within 150 days of the receipt. We'll try. And if we can't meet this deadline, you'll be informed that we will tell you what date we expect the committee to consider your complaint. The committee decisions and reasons are usually sent out within two months after being after the meeting. And it also goes on to say that um, will I receive a decision? It says yes. The committee provides you and the physician with a copy of the decision, the reason for the decision. The reasons are not provided if the physician is referred to the disciplinary committee or to a committee uh, panel due to the physician's health concerns. So if a physician has a health concern, like a small cough, then they can cancel it. So anyway, um, because of the shortness of the video, I won't be able to access calling her, so I can throw this on YouTube in a brief report. I um, must also add, though, that when I do call her, I probably do have enough time here. They're liars and corrupt. I don't believe anything will happen with the case. And, um, oh, here we go. Now we'll just get an answer machine where this is her ringing. And uh, same with her assistant. This also happens all the time. Uh, complete waste of my time. I'll be getting ready to cover up uh, any uh, of her words here so we can keep her distant. But there we go. See what you see. And uh, so, once again, um, there was no answer. If I phoned her assistant, it's the same thing. I quickly wanted to point out also in their paperwork, they say that the committee cannot award you any money. The same wordings as uh, the lie, um, Mistruthful Law Society. These are all secret organizations. This is all a secret. Everything they do to ruin the families, as I just said, is against the Human Rights Code. The Human Rights Code uh, is a gerberator as well. Such cool. No better than these people. Now, in, in the last letter, which uh, I handwrit to the... Uh, the to this investigator who has uh, purposely denied my uh, request to talk to her to see if she received my first class mail before she jeopardizes having this whole thing thrown out, which isn't going to happen because when I'm done with this video, I phone my local police department and that's going to be hard to explain why I want them over here. But nonetheless, um, when you have a chance, check out this and then go to the Law Society website where, where I also made a video on their corruption and their mistruths. And in, in the letter that I uh, forwarded in my first class mail says this, and it's rather, um, say sloppy handwriting, but it says, uh, I find the timing rather exhausting uh, because it's been so long. Uh, it's exhausting because my ADHD and my post-traumatic, do you have, they do have their bad side effects and mostly when doctors do not do their job and other authorities lie to me, is the college compelled to make a doctor give pa patients meds and or wait time control? I think you know what you said. 
the last telephone call early December. I found a victim of this doctor, and she is willing to testify about the same abuse. And here's her number, and then, and then I put for future reference, since the college is less than expedient, in my opinion, and the patient is the victim, first class everything was returned, first class paid everything. The doctor can afford it. Why should victims pay in time and money? It's getting late, very late. So that was only one example um, of their inadequacy. They have to repeat uh, three times in here that the committee is not allowed to reward financial payments through the complaint process. Let me tell you something. Even if you go to the useless courts that don't work anyway, uh, it ain't going to work. Because if you win, you lose. And if, even if you won millions and millions of dollars, then you have to go collect it. Now, one thing I want to really point out that's of key, key importance here is there's a little blue emblem right here, you see? And on there, it says these words. It says, um, Fidus in Arcanus. Now, I will explain in writing later on what that means, but Fidus comes from... Uh, Fiduciary, which means public trust, and there is no public trust. And Arcanus means chief archangel, and there is fallen angels, so believe me. And just in case uh, anyone's wondering what I look like, this is what I look like. Yeah, that's me. So they want, they want confidentiality, but, you know, uh, what a good-looking boy, eh? Yeah, that a boy. So anyway, um, you guys take care, and this will be a sequel. So, um, this is the 40th anniversary of abortion, which is the crime against humanity. And um, I want you to just, in, in your own special way, support your local um, Right to Life office through spaghetti dinners uh, as their functions. Right to Life, um, watch the phrase on TV. Um, check, out, um, uh, check out YouTubes of um, videos of anything you can pull up on uh, um, the, uh, these physicians and surgeons uh, very secretive no other people have put this kind of stuff on the YouTube to expose the mistruths of these, this um, cesspool these people are just as low as the law society so I wouldn't give them the time of day so i got to check out and uh, God bless you and uh, hang in there today is January 22nd and it's the 40th anniversary of uh, Roe versus Wade, and God bless and you take care.